We are in the Ingenious Wave 2 Wireless Access Point, the 620 external model. And let's take a look at how you change the IP address. So by default, the IP address is going to be 192.168.1.1. So I went ahead and changed it to 15.100 because that's the subnet that's on the inside of my network. But let's go ahead and change it to another one. So we go to Network, we go to Basic, and we see it's 15.100. Let's go ahead and change it to 15.101. Now, before we apply this, we want to make sure nothing else is on that particular IP address because you can't have more than one at the same address. So if you pull up a command prompt and you type in ping and then the IP address you'd like to change it to, you hit enter. And if we don't get a response, it's a good indication that there's no other IP address at that particular address. But we got to do one more thing just to be sure. So we do an ARP space minus A. And just in case the firewall is on, the pinging might be blocked, but the ARP cannot be blocked. So we can see here that 101 is not in our list, so we're okay. We can go ahead and assign 101. Let's go ahead and close that. We've changed it to 101. Now we make sure our gateway is set to the proper gateway as well. And again, if we pull up a command prompt and type in IP config, hit enter. And we go to where it says default gateway and we look for the IP version 4 address which is 192.168.15.1 so we know that that is the correct subnet and we can also go and put in a primary DNS I like to use Google's 8888 and you can also put in a secondary one if you want now if you use IP version 6 you can also uncheck link local address and put in an IP address of your choice in our case we're just using IP version 4 and if you want, you can also enable Spanning Tree Protocol, which we'll discuss in an upcoming video. Go ahead and click Save. And you've got to go to the Changes button in order to apply it. So go ahead and click Apply. Now, as soon as that's done, we should be able to connect on the 101 IP address. So while we're waiting, let's just go ahead and put that in. 192.168.15.101. And let's see if we... Oh, there it is. Looks like it's already changed. So use our username and password. And now we're back in, but now we're in on the 101 address. Stay tuned for other videos. We're going to talk a lot about advanced wireless networking and other things coming up.